Hey, this is Benjamin Balderson. Today on Odin's Alchemy, we're gonna be going through some solar system. So what I've got personally going on is when I turn off my generator, my voltage immediately drops in my batteries. So what we want my voltage to float at on these batteries is right around 54 volts. I've got a 48 volt system. And we're gonna go in and go through that in just a minute. I've got a 48 volt system. So we want the batteries to run in at around 54. The system regulates it out to 48 and gives us a nice smooth even power going through the system. <clears throat> so what happens when your batteries start getting old is that the electrolytes start binding up and plating to the metal and wearing out. And when you take and remove incoming power, the volts immediately drop. So one thing you can do to remedy that is take and remove all your batteries, dump out all of the battery acid, then fill it up with nice clear distilled water because the electrolytes are salts. So the distilled water will grab onto those salts and yank them off. So we can strip out the old electrolytes out of the batteries, put in new battery acid, and then rather than spending $8,000 on a new battery bank, we spend uh, $500 on acid and spend a day messing around. So, watch out for these ants here, Josh. Unless we got an ant pile going on. This is the heart of the system that we're getting ready to take, that we're getting ready to blow all out, clean out, and whatnot. This is the battery bank that we're talking about. And these are six volt lead acid batteries. These batteries, are stacked six in a parallel so that way six in a series so that way when you go from the negative to the positive negative to the positive these puts this amplifies the voltage so now rather than having six volts all eight of these batteries are put together and that makes 48 volts then it's positive to positive to positive, although all three wires are running to it and because they need to be the exact same length and then going there. So that stacks these three banks together, which is what brings up my amp hours. Now, this is your storage system. This here is the heart of your electrical system. This is your inverter. So this is what's taking and turning your 48 volt direct DC power and turning it, in my instance, is I, I have a 240 uh, volt inverter. A lot of people only have 120. So this is taken and turning 48 volts into 240 volts. <clears throat> then this is, so this is where your battery's stored. So a lot of times when people are thinking about uh, solar power, they immediately just think of the panels and think the panel goes right to the system. But really, if you're gonna go live off grid, the first thing that you want is a generator and we're gonna go see that in just a second. The generator you can run off of no matter what, you just need fuel. Then the second component is this battery bank and the inverter because then you can use the generator, fill up the battery bank and then live off of this battery bank trying to minimize your power usage. And then you also need the inverter because the inverter is what transfers that 48 volts into a usable 240 volts and over at your panel. And then that's where it gets distributed at your house. So really when you're doing solar, the solar panels in and of themselves are pretty much about the last component that you put in because you need everything else in front of that in order to make it work. <clears throat> so, and on the other side of the wall here, you can see the wires going through there is a solar controller. And we'll show you that in just a second also. Over here, we have the solar panels. And we'll go like this since the milk is obstinate. So after you've got that put together, these are your solar panels. And very similar to the solar batteries, you've got to stack some of these together because each of these panels is bringing in today, not very good, there's no sun, but they're capable of about 30 volts. And we want our system to come in at 48 volt. Plus you have to account for voltage drop. 
So you stack a couple of them together, you know, 30 and 30, 60, which comes in above 48. Then that goes through the solar, the solar controller, which drops it down to a nice even 48. So everything's charged. So you gotta bring your voltages in higher so that way you can drop them to lower and clean them up so that way you don't have a varying voltage. Um, it's always a good voltage. So then after that, after you get enough panels together to get your voltage, you do the same thing again where you're, uh, where you're stacking them together to try and bring up your amperage. So I've got about 40 solar panels here all stacked together. They go into this. This is just a breaker box. Um, it stacks them together. It, uh, if there's any shorts in the panels, it, it breaks it right there. That sends it on over to the solar controllers and a couple wires because this is stacking them together. So it brings it down to two. It sends it to the solar controllers in the house. And then the solar controller goes to the inverter. And from the inverter, it then puts it into the batteries or uses it in the house right then and there. So we got grandsons and we're trying to get everything swapped over and moved. So the house is in a horrible sky right now, but. So this is, uh, This is our this is our solar controllers. The solar controllers are currently off. So we're coming in from the solar panels and coming into these controllers. When they come in from the panels, the way I have it set up, they're coming in at about 70 volts. <coughs> this drops it down to 48 volts and then sends it into there and sends it into the inverter and everything. And when they're on, I can monitor and track how much power I have coming in and everything like that. And then this is the brain box of the system. It just tells me what all my voltages are running at, how much power is getting used, all that kind of thing. So Josh and I are going to go start taking apart the system and uh, draining out these batteries. And we'll uh, make a little another video here just shortly. And put them together so it's going to be an interesting day <laughs>